just nine nights before they challenge Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship at Money in the Bank. Tonight, the Rated R Superstar Edge, the Viper Randy Orton, reignited old rivalry in your main event with momentum on the line heading towards Money in the Bank. And also coming up tonight, the number one contender for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship of the World will be decided when Wesley, Axiom, and the Irish ace JD McDonough battle it out in triple threat action. Who will challenge Santos Escobar next week here on SmackDown? We find out later tonight live from Indianapolis, Indiana. But it is time to decide the sixth and final man in the men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup in just nine nights in Columbus, Ohio at the Money in the Bank live premiere event. The phenomenal AJ Styles. The Nigerian Giant Omas set the lock horns to kick us off from the Gainsbridge Field House. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ. Well, AJ Styles is searching for an opportunity to catapult him back to the main event scene, and the Money in the Bank could be the catalyst to do just that. AJ made it to the semifinals of the King of the Ring tournament. He fell to Austin Theory just a few weeks ago in Philadelphia Live on pay-per-view. But AJ Styles is back in action tonight, but he's got a colossal opponent ahead, the Nigerian giant Omas, who AJ Styles has history with, dating back to last fall. These two men had several batters in the past, but tonight they lock horns yet again with the ultimate opportunity of the final spot in the men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup on the line. AJ Styles, will he be able to topple the tall task, or is this the opportunity that catapults Omas to the stop of the WWE? And his opponent from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds. The Nigerian Giant, Omas! Well, Money in the Bank is coming your way next Sunday night, the 16th, 5 p.m. Eastern time for the Nationwide Arena in Columbus, Ohio. And already signed for the men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup, Tommaso Ciampa, Ricochet, Seth Rollins, Braun Breaker, and Shinsuke Nakamura. Five spots determined, but who will take the sixth and final spot in the Money in the Bank ladder matchup? Of course, Braun Breaker and Ricochet representing SmackDown, so the final SmackDown spot to be determined before our very eyes in moments. Tommaso Ciampa, Seth Rollins, and Shinsuke Nakamura securing the final spot on behalf of Raw this past Monday night against Kevin Owens. It's gonna be a great night of action live from Indianapolis, Indiana. The Rated R Superstar Edge, Randy Orton. So much history between those two men. They lock horns yet again in your main event tonight. But it's time for your final Money in the Bank qualifying matchup of the year. Who is heading to the 16th? AJ and Omos, the bell has sounded that we are underway to kick things off on another edition of Friday Night SmackDown. And here comes Styles, hot out of the gate, taking Omos over the top. That is what AJ is going to have to do, try to get Omos off his feet. But it's one thing to get him down. It's a whole other thing to keep him there. And here comes Styles over the top rope, not wasting any time. Beautiful forearm up and over, and down goes the big man. AJ Styles laser focused. Saw that opportunity slip through his fingers at King of the Ring. Not looking to feel defeat yet again. And here he goes again over the top rope. Omos does not know what hit him. And AJ Styles came in with a blueprint tonight, and so far he is executing it to absolute perfection. But as we just mentioned, it's one thing to take Omos down, it's a whole other thing to keep him off his feet as Omos is back into the ring, and he's already throwing live rounds with AJ Styles. One of the most dangerous and intimidating men in all of WWE. Just imagine Omos in there with Nakamura, Rollins, Champa, Breaker, and Ricochet with the ladders involved. I don't know who that would, would be able to stop the Nigerian giant Omos. If Omos gets a hand on that briefcase, well, everybody in the WWE better look out because he is going to become not only the most dangerous man by size, but the most, da most dangerous man by name as we'll be calling him Mr. Money in the Bank. Oh my goodness, Omos heading to the top rope. 
clearly looking to pull out the unthinkables tonight to keep Styles down, but Styles knows that trick very well. Can't beat AJ at his own game as now he heads to the top and a spiral tap by the phenomenal one. With emphatic force into the cover and Omos gets the shoulder up, only a one count there. And I know it's early on in the matchup, but Styles already pedaled to the metal. He's got to stay focused to keep Omos. Cannot let Omos kick it out at one. Get into the mindset of the phenomenal one tonight. As AJ starting to unload. Oh, man. Not even the vintage strikes by Styles were enough to keep the giant off his feet. Oh, man. Manhandling Styles and a big time choke slam. And AJ Styles is down and out. Anderson and Gallows forced to watch the leader of the OC wither away in pain. Into the cover goes Omos. But Styles able to get the shoulder up, but how much is left in the phenomenal one? Omos with a dangerous choke slam, and he falls over the boot. Styles might have kicked out. But how much is left in the tank? Oh, try to go low. Try to get Omos off his feet, and Styles is doing that too, too well almost so far, but. Not able to take Omos down for good. Not able to get that three count just yet. AJ might have kicked down moments ago on instinct. And now trying to let the adrenaline fuel him back into this matchup. Omos is down. Styles trying to keep them there the best he can. A phenomenal one. Heading up to the middle buckle. Here comes Styles. High risk again. Trying to crush the rib cage. I don't care how big you are. You can't breathe. You can't fight. That goes for Styles or Omos. And the beautiful Pele. Nobody does it like AJ Styles. And to the apron, Styles goes. Here he comes with the 450 splash. AJ Styles pulled out all the stops in search of victory, but it's not good enough just yet as Omos is still in this Money in the Bank qualifier. And AJ Styles doing his best to stay on a downed opponent, a weakened beast. Omos is down on the canvas, and Styles may be going where he's most comfortable. Springboard, phenomenal forearm. It is Omos out for good. Can he get the three? He does. AJ Styles with a stellar performance tonight. Able to keep down the Nigerian giant, and the phenomenal one secures the final spot of six in the Money in the Bank ladder matchup next Sunday night at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Here is your winner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. The OC looking stronger than ever, and AJ Styles, he is the phenomenal one, but we may soon be calling him Mr. Money in the Bank. Six spots have been determined. Champa, Ricochet, Breaker, Rollins, Nakamura, and Styles. Three from Raw, three from SmackDown, but only one can hold the Money in the Bank briefcase. Do you want access to a bonus Universe Mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the Join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus Universe Mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a Premium Pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. We are back live in the Gaines Bridge Field House, Indianapolis, Indiana, home of the Indiana Pacers. And it is time to determine the number one contender for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship of the World. A title currently held by Legado del Fantasma's head honcho, Santos Escobar. And here is a very dangerous man in the Cruiserweight division, the Iris Ace, J.D. McDonough. Remember J.D. McDonough? This is dating back about a month or so here on SmackDown, but a very impressive victory over a game of Kiritazawa. McDonough, Wesley, and Axiom. All opponents who are very viable men to take down Santos Escobar and become the Cruiserweight Champion next week on SmackDown. But only one is going to get the opportunity just 48 hours before our next live premiere event, Money in the Bank. Axiom J.D. McDonough set for action, but you can't have a triple threat without participant number three. Here comes Wesley. And from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 183 pounds, 
Wesley! Well, this spark plug, Wexley, has certainly made an impact on SmackDown in recent memory. Had some issues with the man we just saw, the Nigerian giant Omos, but looking prior to that, he was actually teaming up with the man who just beat Omos, the phenomenal AJ Styles, in late April and early March against Imperium when AJ Styles was gearing up to fight Guther for the United States Championship. Well, Wesley looking to build some newfound momentum for himself here on the blue brand and capitalize on the same opportunity that McDonough and Axiom are looking to seize on. The Emperor of Lucha Libre, Santos Escobar, impatiently waiting the determination of his next opponent. Who will it be? Only one man will advance the next week on SmackDown and challenge Escobar for the Cruiserweight Championship. Wesley, JD McDonough, and Axiom, triple threat rules, only one fall to a finish. Or Santos Escobar retaining his Cruiserweight Championship last month at King of the Ring. In WWE's first ever Extreme Lucha Rules match against Rey Mysterio. And what a match it was. Match of the year candidate, if I say so myself. Absolutely tore the house down the Wells Fargo Center. And even though there was a lot of bad blood between Legato Del Fantasma and the Mysterio family, you gotta believe there's some mutual respect from Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio after the wars they have had in recent memory on SmackDown over the Cruiserweight Championship. But that is in the past. We now look towards the future. And not even a minute into this thing, all three of these men are absolutely throwing live rounds in that ring, throwing everything they got at each other with such a golden opportunity at stake. J.D. McDonough, Wesley, Axiom, these are gonna be three future pieces to I'm sure the future of Friday Night SmackDown. And they're all looking to make the name for themselves tonight. They wanna to see their names in the lights. And one way to do so is certainly by becoming the Cruiserweight Champion. Santos Escobar held the championship. This is now his third reign in his career. He won it back in May the 14th at Vengeance, defeating Rey Mysterio. And as we just mentioned, retained it against Rey yet again at King of the Ring. Now that Escobar and Mysterio have really parted ways, it's now time to focus down new horizons. Rey Mysterio, we know, will be challenging Guther for the United States Championship at Money in the Bank. We found that out earlier this week. We have more on that coming your way later tonight on SmackDown. But as for Santos Escobar, he's got a date with Destiny against one of these superstars live next week, just 48 hours before Money in the Bank. Go home SmackDown to our next live premiere event, already shaping up to be one extraordinary event. The prestigious Cruiserweight Championship of the World on the line. Wesley was really laying it in on Axiom there, but now JD McDonough trying to get back into this. Nice snap German on Axiom. Wesley avoiding whatever McDonough had in mind, and a super kick that Shawn Michaels would be proud of. And Wesley looking to dominate now. Triple threat matches so hard with that extra opponent in there. You got to have eyes in the back of your head. A decision could be made without you being even involved in it. This is not elimination tonight. This is one fall to a finish or submission to determine the number one contender. Who will be the last man standing and outlast two other survivors to become the number one contender for the Cruiserweight title. And a beautiful spinning kick by McDonough. Could have been the knockout blow. Wesley there to save things, and Axiom pops the shoulder off just in the nick of time. Now Wesley into the cover, and almost had J.D. McDonough there. Wesley continuing the onslaught on McDonough. All three of these men have had waves of momentum up and down over the last few months. Remember when Axiom made a SmackDown debut coming up from NXT, he actually answered an open challenge by former Cruiserweight champion Rey Mysterio, and was unsuccessful in his pursuit for the title, but now a new opportunity arrives here tonight. And a nice counter there by Axiom. Takes McDonough off his feet. Well, Wesley looking to capitalize on a distracted opponent. Look at the muscle out of Wesley. Manhandling his opponent. Getting him in a prime position, but might have waited too long, and McDonough actually capitalizes. Wait a minute, Lee's down. Axiom with McDonough on his shoulders. Into the cover. Beautiful maneuver there. And he almost had him, but J.D. McDonough pops the shoulder up. What exciting cruiserweight action. You aren't going to see this kind of action anywhere else but Friday Night SmackDown. 
Oh, and look at this, McDonough. What a maneuver there. Double stomp, taking out the rib cage of Axiom. And now a shining wizard of Wesley. And now Wesley now. Oh, I thought he was going for the Tornado DDT. Instead, the small package, but not able to get McDonough down for good. Now down goes Axiom to the outside. J.D. McDonough on spaghetti legs, leaning up against those ropes right now as well. And there goes McDonough. And Wesley taking out the opponents, trying to catch a breather and, and build some momentum and get Indianapolis behind them. It's been an extraordinary triple threat matchup so far. Beautiful Spanish fly. And Wesley gets the shoulders up. Or I should say the knees up, excuse me. Almost an unintentional double team on Axiom there. All three of these men have had their foot on the gas pedal. There has not been a moment of hesitation since the opening bell. And I don't think we're going to see a moment of hesitation and see a cool down until that bell sounds again and we have a number one contender. Sure, Santos Escobar is glued to the television back in the Legado del Fantasma locker room with Joaquin Wilde and Cruz del Toro by his side trying to scout all three men and find out who's going to be standing across the squared circle from him just seven nights from tonight. Axiom with the moonsault into the cover. They have this win here. And McDonough gets the shoulder up. Now Wesley. Trying to build some momentum for himself. McDonough in the corner. Here comes Wesley. Beautiful kick to the chin. Got some elevation on that. The former NXT North American champion, former tag team champion as well, wants to see his opportunity to become the Cruiserweight champion. But McDonough, headbutt, Saito. The same combination that defeated Tozawa a few weeks ago. Keeps down Wesley tonight. J.D. McDonough struck while Wesley's back was turned. Axiom was down and out, nowhere to be found. And the Iris Ace may be the new Cruiserweight Champion seven nights from this evening. Here is your winner, J.D. McDonough. Well, only one man could punch the golden ticket, and that man goes to J.D. McDonough. But will McDonough be able to capitalize on this opportunity? Seven nights from tonight, next week on Friday Night SmackDown, J.D. McDonough challenges Santos Escobar, the Emperor of Lucha Libre, one-on-one -on -one for the prestigious Cruiserweight Championship of the World. That's next week on SmackDown. The action continues tonight in Indianapolis as Bianca Belair looks to build momentum towards Money in the Bank as she goes one-on-one -on -one with Aaliyah. Some recent history between those two women and a tag team matchup on deck as well as Los Lotharios and Alpha Academy look to go 2v2 tonight in Indiana. And the results of those contests see Bianca Belair getting another W. She is full steam ahead towards Money in the Bank next Sunday night. Big win over Aaliyah here tonight on SmackDown. And as for the tag team affair, Chad Gable and Otis, Alpha Academy getting their hand raised tonight. Alpha Academy starting to build some momentum here on SmackDown. Could we be looking at future challengers for the World Tag Team titles here in WWE? We are back live in Indianapolis, Indiana. And before we get to our high stakes main event, we have got a big time tag team grudge matchup on your way. It was just seven nights ago here on SmackDown at the Hall of Famer Rey Mysterio pinned the man in the middle, Giovanni Vinci. And because of that victory, Rey Mysterio is on his way to a meeting with Guther. But tonight, Imperium looking to build some momentum for Guther and his United States Championship defense coming up in just nine nights. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Gunter at a combined weight of 440 pounds, Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci, Imperia! Well, Gunther has had a dominating reign as the United States Heavyweight Champion, but will Rey Mysterio be the kryptonite to the ring general as the master of the 619 looks to become the United States Champion for another time in his career? as it is a David vs. Goliath situation coming up in just nine nights at Money in the Bank. Rey Mysterio one-on-one -on -one with Giovanni Vinci last week, and boy, did Mysterio make the most of that situation. 
That was, of course, hot off the heels, not even a full two weeks removed from his matchup with Santos Escobar at King of the Ring. And Rey Mysterio took the fight to Giovanni Vinci. It was not a easy win, but in the end, Rey got his hand raised. And it was determined that Mysterio would become the number one contender and be next in line to challenge the man with the gold, the ring general, Gunta, for the United States Championship on July 16th. We are live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time in Columbus, Ohio for Money in the Bank. Gunther has had one hell of a reign as United States Champion and has been undefeated since joining SmackDown in November. But can his boys Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci get the job done tonight as they got the Mysterios in 2v2 action? Former World Tag Team Champions approach the squared circle and the man on the right is eyeing up the ring general, looking to become the next WWE United States Champion here on Friday Night SmackDown. And their opponents at a combined weight of 375 pounds, the team of Dunnett and Ray You know, the interesting thing to note here is Dominic and Rey Mysterio have been so engulfed in their situation with Legado del Fantasma dating back to January that it's finally time for them to move on. Rey Mysterio immediately capitalizing on a new, new path here on SmackDown and finding himself just weeks removed from coming up short at a shot at the Cruiserweight Championship now has a chance to step up and become the United States Champion, a title he has held previously in his career. As for Dominic Mysterio, I'm sure he is itchy for competition here on SmackDown, especially now that again, Legado del Fantasma in the rearview mirror for Dominic and Ray. Two men who are World Tag Team Champions this time last year, Dominic and Ray Mysterio want to hold gold yet again and bring championships back to the Mysterio family. And Ray has a chance to do that in just nine nights. Ludwig Kaiser on the other hand, trying to take away all the momentum out of Ray and Dominic here tonight in Indianapolis, and so far, so good. And I'm sure the ring general was not happy about Giovanni Vinci's failed pursuit to keep away the challenge of Rey Mysterio last week. Rey Mysterio may have been focusing on the Cruiserweight Championship ever since January, but it is well documented. I really don't need to give you Rey Mysterio's resume, what he has done throughout his 20 plus year career. As we mentioned, a former United States champion, former Intercontinental champion, of course, has been to the top of the mountain world and WWE champion here in the WWE. Mysterio has done it all. And he's not slowing down anytime soon. He sees one of the biggest challenges in his career in the undefeated ring general in Gunther. And Gunther currently holding gold on SmackDown. It's just another challenge for Rey Mysterio to try to overcome here. What a tag team maneuver as Dominic, now your legal man, with Giovanni Vinci. Dominic Mysterio, as we mentioned, along with Ray, who's engulfed in the Legado del Fantasma rivalry throughout this year so far. And Dominic was even put on the shelf at one point by Escobar. Didn't make his return till back in April. Now the Legado del Fantasma behind the Mysterio family. Dominic trying to get the wheels moving again here on SmackDown and side by side with his father against Imperium. Maybe the recipe to do just that. Beautiful maneuver over the top rope, taking down Vinci. And got to wonder if Giovanni Vinci's in his own head tonight. But they're coming up short against Ray last week, not looking to feel defeat yet again. Mysterio back inside as we run back the one on one matchup in a sense from seven nights ago. And here's Vinci. Look at the power out of this man. Incredible. We talked about it last week on SmackDown, but Giovanni Vinci, such a complete package inside of that ring. He's got the strength, but he's also got the ability. This is a man who was introduced to WWE back in 2016 in the Cruiserweight Classic. He's really become a light heavyweight, maybe a heavyweight at times. Ever since then, and Giovanni Vinci just continuing to up his arsenal, really become a full package. Great tag team wrestler alongside Ludwig Kaiser, but Vinci's got all the tools to break out on his own one day. I really believe that. Right now, Rey Mysterio not interested in Giovanni Vinci's pursuit of anything. As Vinci, the only thing he's pursuing is a tag. Ludwig Kaiser in here now with Dominic Mysterio and a beautiful head scissors takedown by Kaiser. And Dominic, game set, match point. 
drop kick right to the dome of Ludwig Kaiser. You know, speaking on that matchup between Rey Mysterio and Guther coming up at Money in the Bank, Guther cannot underestimate Rey heading into Columbus, Ohio next Sunday night. Guther may have been undefeated since he joined Friday Night SmackDown in November. He just ran through United States Championship challenges, taking down Wesley, AJ Styles. Of course, most importantly, I think the biggest one and the hardest matchup Gunther has participated in ever since joining SmackDown was back at Super SmackDown the Friday before King of the Ring last month against the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. And you really got to go see for yourself how many times Cody almost had Gunther beat on that night in Washington, D.C. Unfortunately, we really don't know how difficult Cody has taken that loss as we have not heard or seen the American Nightmare since Washington, D.C. Last month of before King of the Ring, and I'm sure Cody will be back sooner rather than later, and I'm sure he's going to have his eyes wherever he's been on Ray versus Guther at Money in the Bank. Ludwig Kaiser in. We're going to tap out Dominic Mysterio here, but Ray having none of that. Giovanni Vinci on Ray's tail, throwing him up and over the top rope. And things starting to break down in this tag team matchup tonight in the Gaines Bridge Fieldhouse. Dominic and Rey Mysterio this time last year were on top of the tag team division. With WWE World Tag Team Champions, not just that, but they really ran through everybody the division had to offer until eventually they met their match in Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic. Oh man, Ludwig Kaiser not interested in the history, interested in the result this evening, and he almost had Dominic Mysterio. But the heart of Dominic one that matches his father's for sure. A yeah. snapmare takeover. Kaiser so dangerous inside of that ring and a punt kick. And you might find Dominic's heart that we were just speaking of in the fifth row. And Kaiser not done just yet. Went for the lariat. Nobody home. And Dominic Mysterio trying to rally. Another drop kick there takes Kaiser off his feet. Dominic not looking to be the one to take a pinfall tonight and derail his father's momentum heading into the United States Championship matchup at Money in the Bank and Dominic starting to come alive. This young man has got a bright future ahead of him. And he's showcasing why before our very eyes. Tag to Ray. Can't really get more of a close-knit unit than a father-son duo as they are showcasing right here. Beautiful springboard, split the difference, and the Bulldog to Ludwig Kaiser. Into the cover by Ray. And he almost had him, not just yet, but the damage certainly done off that maneuver. Mysterios are looking hot right now. Kaiser heading to the outside. He may be feeling hot. He may be feeling frustrated. Imperium has got to regroup and regain control of this matchup. Luther does not want to see another loss and bad mojo brought back to the Imperium locker room. But Rey Mysterio does not care about the mindset of the ring general. Beautiful Frankensteiner off the corner. Into the cover. And he almost had him again. Ludwig Kaiser kicks out. What a tag team matchup we got on hand tonight. And a sold out Gainsbrid Fieldhouse in Indianapolis, Indiana. Nobody brings the action like Friday Night Smackdown just nine nights before Money in the Bank. And we still got Edge and Randy Orton locking horns one-on-one -on -one in your main event to come. And a double-team maneuver by Imperium. Giovanni Vinci, the legal man, and I'm sure Vinci is itchy to get that victory back over Rey Mysterio tonight. But Rey Mysterio has got other plans. Dial up the cell phones. 6-1, oh no, Vinci. Catching the feet, down goes Ray. 619 to no avail. And he went for the cover there. Not enough to keep Mysterio down, but that was a well executed counter by Giovanni Vinci. Imperium starting to get the cogs turning again. And the men who believe the wrestling mat is sac sacred starting to bring this matchup to their kind of pace. Starting to slow down Ray and Dominic. Guys are going to keep his eye on Ray because there's a tag to the fresh legs of Dominic Mysterio. And Dominic once again hitting Kaiser with on the button with that drop kick. Oh, and now look at this. 
Dominic's going for the 619. And he hits it. Dominic with the six, the one, and the nine on Ludwig Kaiser. Oh, wait a minute. The referee's back his turn, I believe. Oh, wait a minute. There's a... There's some malarkey going on in the Imperium corner. I believe as Dominic was hitting the 619, Gunther was trying to take off the turnbuckle pad. Referee caught him, was trying to fix it. Unable to get the pinfall was Dominic, and Giovanni Vinci got in there just to add some icing on the cake. Well, Dominic and his father Ray not one to complain. They're just gonna keep on swinging until they hear a bell. Down goes Vinci as he is now the legal man. Dominic heading high in the sky. And my goodness, has he used those feet to perfection tonight? Dominic Mysterio is a man on a mission. We're going to prove his worth on Friday Night SmackDown. Along his father's side or not. A snap man, another drop kick. Dominic Mysterio well executed with those kicks. As he heads to the top rope, but Vinci is on his tail. That's a rookie mistake out of Dominic. But Dominic had plans. Into the pinfall. And he almost had him, not just yet. And this is a tag team wrestling clinic here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. The Mysterios versus Imperium. We are live from the Game Bridge Field House. Indianapolis, Indiana, nine nights away from Money in the Bank. A whole lot of momentum is riding on the line. As Giovanni Vinci looking to snap Dominic Mysterio into two. Beautiful pop up. On the knee, tag made to Kaiser, tag made to Ray. Fresh legs on each end. At least for a moment, because that uppercut will knock anybody out twice on Friday, but maybe Ray Mysterio is tougher than they come. Looking for the 619 again. It gets caught. Kaiser not allowing a 619 there. Imperium has got Ray Mysterio's best shot scouted. Remember last week, Rey Mysterio was unable to hit the 619 against Giovanni Vinci in singles action as well. Tonight to no avail. Imperium has got Rey Mysterio's best shot. Well played in their minds right now and not allowing the double boots to the, to the face. Mysterio, if there's a will, there's a way. Coming off the top rope with the frog splash. And will that do it? Ludwig Kaiser not even allowing a one count. Rey Mysterio has got to be shaking his head right now as to what he's got to do to defeat Imperium tonight and save some energy for his matchup against the man at ringside, the United States Champion. What a minute of chaos here. Vinci rolling to the outside. Dominic and Kaiser going at it. And this tag team affair is starting to break down as Mysterio over the top rope with a crossbody. The former cruiserweight champion showcasing why he is one of the greatest cruiserweights to ever grace a squared circle. Back inside the squared circle we go, and Rey Mysterio has got Vinci. Here we go, springboard frog splash! Exactly how he pinned Vinci seven nights ago on SmackDown. But Ludwig Kaiser still got a heart pumping, has still got blood running through the veins, and not gonna allow a three count. But Rey Mysterio. Gonna, gonna, gonna give him a dish best served. Boots to the chest. Mysterio is gonna have to figure out a way to divide and conquer. Because Imperium, when their back's up against their wall, they still work like a well oiled machine. As Giovanni Vinci just showed. But Rey Mysterio's up this time and not allowing a three count. Man, what a matchup between the Mysterios and Imperium tonight. Some bad blood after that one-on-one -on -one affair last week with Rey Mysterio in the horizons of Gunther at Money in the Bank. Tags made once again. Dominic and Ludwig Kaiser back into the fray. Nice takedown by Dominic. There's a takedown by Kaiser, tit for tat right now. And into the submission hold, Ludwig Kaiser looking to tap out Dominic. The legs got to be crying for mercy. Rey Mysterio breaking things up. Kaiser setting his sights on Rey, looking to eliminate the man in the mask as Dominic is still off his feet. And maybe Imperium looking to divide and conquer the Mysterio family tonight. This will not go well when it comes to the momentum of Rey heading into Money in the Bank in just nine nights. 
Tag made the Giovanni Vinci, and the double team sends Dominic for an amusement park ride. Gunther has got to love what he sees at ringside. Focus determined is the United States champion. It's Dominic Mysterio. Nobody's got more heart than the Mysterio blood. Oh, wait a minute, could be looking for a 619 again. This time on Giovanni Vinci. And he hits it. Gunther tried taking the referee's eye off the ball. This time to no avail. Dominic headed to the tip, to the top. And he lands the frog splash into the cover. But I don't like Kaiser's position in here. As long as Imperium's still standing, this match will keep moving forward. What is it going to take to keep down these teams tonight? Dominic Mysterio, Giovanni Vinci rolling to the outside, trying to catch a breath, and Dominic is fed up with Ludwig Kaiser. Dominic trying to rally Indianapolis, Indiana. And look at this, Mysterio sending Vinci back inside of the ring. Giovanni Vinci, I don't think he's got any idea where he is right now. Vinci's on spaghetti legs. Dominic rolling him up. No Kaiser to be found. Gunther not gonna like the result, because the Mysterio's got him again. An incredible tag team affair here tonight in Indianapolis. But unfortunately, more bad luck in the corner of Imperium as the Mysterios are leaving the Gainsbridge Fieldhouse with a pair of W's the size of a United States Championship affair. What a matchup tonight on SmackDown. Here are your winners, the team of Dominic and Ray. Mysterio! A big win for the Mysterios, and will Rey Mysterio become the next United States Champion in just nine nights at Money in the Bank? The next time we come your way for a live premiere event, it is Sunday night, July the 16th, 5 p.m. Eastern Time for the Nationwide Arena in Columbus, Ohio. It is the 2023 Money in the Bank. And the man you just saw victorious in tag team action, Rey Mysterio, looking to become the United States Champion of the World when he takes on the ring general, Gunther, one-on-one -on -one in just nine nights. And as for Monday Night Raw, L.A. Knight outlasting seven others in the Independence Day Battle Royal this past week. Now, he challenges Invincible, Ilya Dragunov for the gold. It's Dragunov versus Knight for the Intercontinental title. As the King of the Ring rematch, Liv Morgan looking to right the wrong of last month. She tapped out the Shayna Baszler, not once but twice. But will Shayna Baszler be able to do it for a third time? Or will Liv Morgan win back the championship she lost at King of the Ring? It is a six-woman Money in the Bank ladder matchup. Bianca Belair, Raquel Rodriguez, Rhea Ripley, Io Sky, Meet Chin Mia Yim, and the man Becky Lynch, who will pull down the briefcase with an ultimate opportunity at stake. It is the six-man Money in the Bank ladder matchup for the men. Tommaso Ciampa, Ricochet, AJ Styles, Braun Breaker, Seth Rollins, and Shinsuke Nakamura, who will have a future opportunity at either the World or WWE Championship. We'll find out in nine nights. It's the Monday Night Raw main event. Will it be doomsday for Matt Riddle's WWE Championship reign as the original bro defends the gold against the harbinger of doom, Karrion Cross. And it's the Friday Night SmackDown main event. Triple threat affair for the World Heavyweight Championship. The Viper Randy Orton, the Rated R Superstar Edge, and the fire-breathing son of the bitch in the middle, Drew McIntyre for the big gold belt. But as for tonight here in Indianapolis, it is main event time and two men with history a mile long about to write the latest chapter in a storied rivalry. This is gonna be one for the ages on SmackDown. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the race from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds. The Viper, Randy Orton! Well, this is the man who ambushed Drew McIntyre two weeks ago on SmackDown and set his sights on McIntyre's World Heavyweight Championship. But just seven nights ago, when Randy Orton was alongside the King of the Ring winner, Austin Theory, in a tag team main event where McIntyre was in need of a partner. 
Edge stepped up. Edge pinned Austin, Austin Theory off a emphatic spear inside the squared circle. And it was determined that the World Championship matchup at Money in the Bank would become a triple threat. A decision I'm sure the Apex Predator is not happy about. For one, lessening, lessening the chance of Randy Orton leaving Columbus, Ohio as the World Heavyweight Champion. But not only is the third man just any superstar, it is a man that Randy Orton knows extremely well. The Rated R Superstar Edge. Orton knows firsthand just how dangerous Edge can be inside of the ring and just how difficult it is to keep down the ultimate opportunist. The last time Orton and Edge met was back in November in Boston at Survivor Series in Hell in a Cell. And now all these months later, their paths cross again. They are destined to do this thing forever. Now on Friday Night SmackDown, the World Heavyweight Championship will be at stake at Money in the Bank. But tonight, it is about building momentum for that high stakes, high reward affair as the Rated R Superstar, I'm sure, is chomping at the bit to reignite this flame with Randy Orton, the man who took away the WWE Championship back in the fall. Edge and Randy Orton back inside the squared circle, one on one in your Friday Night SmackDown main event. And his opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds, Edge! Well, Edge had an opportunity to become the World Heavyweight Champion at King of the Ring, and it was an absolute war against Drew McIntyre, but unfortunately, the Rated R Superstar came up just a bit short. But the ultimate opportunist always finds a way. Stepped up to team with Drew McIntyre last week. Pin the King of the Ring winner, Austin Theory, in the middle of that ring. And now Edge has another opportunity at greatness, just as Randy Orton does in nine nights at Money in the Bank. And as for tonight on SmackDown, Edge and Randy Orton, one-on-one, -on -one, the bell has sounded, and the rivalry is being renewed before our very eyes. And these two men, no waste of motion, hot out the gate, throwing some live rounds, and Randy Orton going with the scoop and the slam. This is one of those situations where you're not going to need a feeling out process with your opponent. You know them extremely well. These two men have had absolute wars with each other. They have teamed with each other. They have had battles across all, all generations of their careers here in WWE. But tonight they do it yet again on SmackDown and they are not wasting any time. Momentum from Money in the Bank certainly riding on the line tonight. No man looking to take a loss with the World Heavyweight Championship matchup coming up in the extreme near future. I'm sure Drew McIntyre, the champion, has got his eyes locked on this main event. Looking for any weaknesses in, in his challenger's game plan that he can try to exploit at Money in the Bank. Right now, Randy Orton looking dangerous against Edge. Again, I'm sure the Viper is a little bit extra fired up, a little bit more frustrated that he's going to have to deal with Edge, not just tonight, but at Money in the Bank. This is an opportunity Randy Orton was looking to capitalize on one-on-one. -on -one. He ambushed McIntyre, crushed him over the skull with his own world title. Randy Orton played his cards right. Drew McIntyre, after that assault, he wanted to fight. He openly gave Randy Orton a shot at the world title at Money in the Bank. But Edge... No stranger to the game either. Able to play the strings just as Randy Orton did. And that is how we got to our triple threat matchup nine nights from this evening. Money in the Bank will be live Sunday night, July the 16th, 5 p.m. Eastern time. Our live premiere events seemingly getting bigger and better every single month. And Money in the Bank going to live up to that just as much. Right now, Edge trying to get back into this main event affair here in Indianapolis. What an awesome night of action it has been here on SmackDown. You can always tell when we are getting closer to a live premiere. The action picks up, tensions are running high, and everybody's looking to capitalize on each and every opportunity at hand. And Edge right now, looking to tap out Randy Orton before this matchup can get to deep waters. Well, crossface here, Randy Orton's feeling the pressure, and you gotta wonder if Randy Orton's just gonna wanna tap out and move on and not risk injury, but Randy Orton not looking to derail his momentum just yet. Win, lose, or draw, these men are going to have their opportunity at Money in the Bank. 
It really plays into the psyche when you take a loss so close to a big time match, a championship opportunity. All remains to be seen what the result is going to be and how it'll play into the game plans on the 16th of July. Right now, Randy Orton trying to create some space, but Edge is on his tail. Edge has not forgotten about the brutality that these two men went through back in November at Hell in the Cell at Survivor Series. Edge was the WWE Champion. Randy Orton took away that gold and held it all the way to the main event of WrestleMania. We thought on that night that would be the final time that Edge and Randy Orton stepped inside the squared circle with each other, but both men once again a part of Friday Night SmackDown in recent months, and both men finding their pass crossing yet again with Drew McIntyre in the middle. And the World Championship on the line, and Randy Orton now looking to change the pace of this matchup, set a new course, and beat Edge's ass, and walk away with a victory. And Edge is down. This is what Randy Orton likes. A slow pace, very methodical out of the Viper. Beat down his opponent, as Edge knows very well. He's been on the other hand of it many times throughout his career, just as he was a moment ago. Randy Orton taking his time, putting Edge into the corner, but Edge, he can't really give the rated R Superstar too long to breathe. Really, if you watch the match between Edge and Drew McIntyre at King of the Ring, that may have been one of the strong suits for Drew McIntyre throughout that contest. As he did not stop swinging until he heard a bell. That matchup was pedal to the metal between McIntyre and Edge from the get-go. And in the end, Drew McIntyre retained his world championship. And meanwhile, Edge over the top rope. My goodness. If that doesn't tell you how fired up Edge is, and how ready and motivated he is to try to become the World Heavyweight Champion. Well, I don't know what will. Randy Orton's got other plans, though. And the ground and pound continues at ringside, and Edge may be wishing he never met Randy Orton on the outskirts of the ring. Back inside between the ropes we go. Randy Orton on Edge's tail again, but Edge meets him in the middle. Clocking him off the apron. Randy Orton just trying to get to his feet. And Orton realizes that Edge is literally waiting for him to get back into the ring. Oh, wait a minute. But a goaded Edge to meeting him at ringside and Orton now. Orton's wheels are spinning. You can always tell him the Viper's got something in mind. He moves with purpose. He strikes with authority. And ragdoll and Edge around ringside is what Randy Orton is doing right now. God only knows what the Viper's got in mind, but Edge has got other plans as this thing is starting to break down on the outskirts of the ring. I'm sure Drew McIntyre would not mind these two men continuing to beat each other pillar to pope, pillar to post, excuse me, in the lead up to the Money in the Bank World Heavyweight Championship matchup. Edge on the outside, Randy Orton playing a game of cat and mouse right now, just trying to get Edge off his game plan. But Edge... Oh, there's a counter by Orton, and down goes Edge, and the fight continues on the outside. Randy Orton's got something in mind, and I don't know what it is, and quite frankly, I don't like it one bit. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Randy Orton is looking to up the ante here, clear it off the announce table, but Edge trying to make sure he can avoid disaster. And there's a hard elbow by Orton and a clothesline. I don't know what Orton's got in mind, but it's got something to do with this announce table. And Randy Orton is looking to eliminate the edge factor before we get to Money in the Bank. I do not like this for the Rated R Superstar. Look out below! The RKO! Through the announce table! And Edge has been laid to waste in the heart of Indianapolis. Trying to get to his feet. Dazed and confused and Randy Orton's in disbelief as to how Edge is still moving right now, but he's played this game with Edge before, and Randy Orton knows it's not over to the bell sounds. And just trying to add some insult to injury, some icing on the cake, rub salt on the wounds, reverse Boston on Edge, but Edge has still got fight left in him. The Rated R Superstar wants all the momentum he can get before Money in the Bank does not want to get another World Championship matchup in nine nights and come up short for the second month in a row. 
Edge is trying to get back into this thing. Randy Orton might have threw his best shot. And did that RKO just wake up Edge? Did it light a fire under the ass of the ultimate opportunist? Because clearly adrenaline is pumping through the soul and Randy Orton is feeling the war path of it. Orton to his feet and ends with another takedown. And here comes the Rated R Superstar, not just yet. A drop kick by Orton, you see in a snap of the fingers, momentum changes in the matchup. Almost counter by Edge there, Orton, oh, and a spear! A spear out of nowhere by Edge! Randy Orton never saw it coming! Tonight, it wasn't the RKO out of nowhere. It was the spear out of nowhere. And that has got to be a satisfying victory for the Rated R Superstar over a man he's fought long and hard with throughout his career. Here is your winner, Edge! Well, that was a fight from pillar to post in your main event. And Randy Orton is going to have to go back to the drawing board and figure out how he can survive Edge and Drew McIntyre at Money in the Bank. But the Rated R Superstar continuing to ride a high. It is the Hall of Famer looking to add another world championship reign to his legendary career. Are we looking at the man to take down Drew McIntyre on the 16th of July? We will find out in nine nights live at Money in the Bank. Good night, everybody, from Indianapolis. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.